Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review and I'm back with another video for the Acer Aspire E15 E5 575G 57D4. I told you guys that when I did get some memory, I was going to uh, show you guys how to upgrade the memory on this laptop. Now it comes with eight gigabytes total when you buy it, uh, but I thought I'd add another eight gigabytes so that I could actually um, double the RAM in here. Uh, it does have some nice fast DDR4 23, 2133 uh, megahertz RAM in it already, uh, but I wanted to add a second module so that that way uh, I could have that running in dual channel. So uh, basically what I'm going to do at this point is show you guys how to get into it. First, uh, we're going to launch CPU-Z, so you can see what the initial con uh, configuration is on this laptop. Uh, CPU-Z is a great tool to have uh, for the laptop. I'm sorry for the dust, I didn't get a really a chance to clean up the uh, actual screen. Uh, and I'm not quite sure if you guys will be able to see this on screen or not, but if we go to memory uh, on here, and with my overhead, it may be kind of blurred out, but uh, we'll see what we can do here in uh, processing to uh, clean things up for you. Uh, it has a one stick of uh, memory in it that is eight gigabytes, uh, and it is running in single channel. Uh, so that is something that we want to take care of. So unfortunately, uh, you can't really see it on the video, but that is okay. I'll, I'll uh, take care of that um, and close it out. I can show you through the BIOS as well. Okay, there you go. Single channel uh, up at the top right-hand corner there. Uh, and as you see, it's DDR4 on the top left, and it's 8 gigabytes. Uh, and it does have the clock speeds there as well. Uh, which are 15, 15, 15, and uh, just so you know, if you need them. Now, uh, what we'll do is we'll get rid of this, and in a second I'll boot this down. I'll show you exactly how to get into uh, the laptop itself, uh, so you know how to uh, get into the access port, uh, what you're going to need to actually do the upgrade. Uh, so we're going to boot everything down, obviously power everything off. It does have a built-in battery, so you can't remove the battery on work like this. I would suggest doing so. So if you have a laptop that you're upgrading uh, that has a battery, you can remove that. So flipping the laptop over, I've got a towel down just because I don't want to scratch the top of the laptop. You're going to see tons of different screws here, but there are only three main ones that you're going to have to worry about are, are these three right here. Uh, that will release that door uh, that will have uh, the RAM and will also have a secondary bay uh, for a hard drive. So those three screws are the only screws that you're going to have to mess with at all to access those. Uh, uh, you can use a Phillips Zero uh, screw uh, to get in there. Uh, and it's very simple. You just uh, take out the three screws really quickly. Uh, and normally I would speed this up, but it doesn't take that long at all. So we'll get through that and uh, show you guys the actual access port itself. So once you have the three screws out, very simple. Again, it is only three screws, so Acer did a great job at making this super accessible. Uh, you're going to have a tab on the right-hand side. As you can see, it's kind of cut off on the corner there. You just get your fingernail underneath, uh, and you'll pull it off, and it will click a few times as the tabs release. Uh, and that is pretty much it. And now you can see uh, we've got direct access to our second uh, RAM module our actual uh, M.2 SATA drive that's in there, the 256 gigabyte that comes with it. And then you have a secondary SATA drive a bay that you can put another one in if you would like to. So you've got that as well. Now this is that default eight gigabyte uh, module that comes with it. It's a SK Hynix module. Uh, it is eight gigabytes at 2133. And uh, so what I did is I went out and found another uh, SK Hynix module, as you'll see right here. Uh, it's 8 gigabytes 2R8 PC4 2133, of course. 
uh, and that is made by SK Hynix as well. I just kind of wanted to look for one that I would match up with what I already had in there. Now you can use something like Kingston or another brand if you want to, as long as it's the timings are the same uh, and it is uh, you know the same as far as 2133. Uh, and it's super simple to put this in. You just put it in at an angle. And once it's slotted in at an angle, you just push down and the two metal clips on the side hold it in place. So now you have just upgraded from eight gigabytes at single channel to 16 gigabytes at dual channel. Uh, so it's pretty much just as easy as that. Uh, now you could go even further and do two 16 gigabyte modules and, and upgrade it to 32. I've heard of people doing that. Uh, to me, that's just overkill. Uh, over on the left-hand side, again, is another bay. Uh, they do not give you mounting hardware for it. You can go to Acer's website, and I'll have that link in the description below, uh, where you can pick up the mounting hardware for it. It's $8 on Acer's website. Uh, so you'll have that as a link below. So if you do decide to put in a secondary hard drive, you can do that. Um, you can actually put one in there, and it, it will fit fit, uh, but um, you just have to be really careful about it wiggling out. Uh, you can put something in there like a piece of cardboard. You can do anything, uh, but if you really want the mounting hardware, it's only $8. Then you just uh, put the three screws back in as uh, we had done before, reversing our process here. Very simple and easy. Uh, and then you're all done. Uh, when I am done getting these screws back in, I will reboot and I will show you guys uh, that we indeed do have 16 gigabytes registered uh, and are good to go. So that is pretty much uh, how you do that. And it's a very simple and easy process to do. Now, I know this is a long video. Uh, there are people out there that don't know how to do this. I'd rather uh, go over it. Uh, right now, I'm gonna try to get into the BIOS so uh, I can show you that it indeed does come up in the BIOS as 16 gigabytes, uh, and then uh, I will uh, then boot into Windows and show you again with CPU-Z. But uh, yes, it's a longer video, and the reason why uh, is because there are people out there that don't know how to do this stuff, and that's why they're on YouTube and they're looking at it, and I want to kind of be a little bit detailed for them. Uh, so now if we go through uh, and look on the BIOS here, it should be on the first page. Yes. As you can see, our total memory now is uh, 16,384 megabytes or 16 gigabytes. So we are all set with our uh, new RAM. Uh, I will exit out of this and I will boot into Windows. And then we'll launch CPU-Z and hopefully I'll get a better shot of that for you so that you guys can see that it is running in dual channel instead of single. And uh, we are then good to go. Uh, the boot up times on this uh, with the uh, M.2 drive and even with eight gigabytes is excellent. Uh, it's a very, very fast machine. 16 just kind of is the icing on the cake with that as well. Uh, so. Again, not a necessity. This is more of an upgrade video just to kind of show you guys how it is done so that if you do wish to do it, then you can do it yourself. Uh, and it literally only takes five minutes. So let's hope I can get this to show up on the screen here. And it doesn't, there we go. And if I go to memory, you can now see in the, we were dual channel, DDR4, um, the frequencies are all the same there, 16 gigabytes, DDR4 in dual channel. Uh, you've got the 15, 15, and 15. So we are good to go. Uh, and we are uh, running very well, uh, all set up. Again, under you know five minute job to do, remove three screws, seat the RAM, boot in, make sure that it's recognized, uh, single channel to dual channel, and double your RAM. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.